For the last five or so years, there's been a mural behind me in most videos on this channel. And those of you who have been around this channel for a while will know that that mural has sort of become something of a, a main character. When I created it, I wanted to fill it with everything that inspired me. And my expectation was that the mural would set the tone for people who are new to the channel and become something familiar and comfortable for people who stuck around and watched future videos. What I didn't expect is for the channel to grow how it did. When I painted it, I had under 100,000 subscribers and now coming up to 4 million, that mural has been seen by over half a billion people, which I, like I said, didn't expect it when I painted that. And as those of you who saw in the video last week, I painted over it and now I have moved to an entirely new studio space, a much larger one capable of facilitating awesome future projects. But many of you have had the question, what about a mural? Well, I have good news for you. I have, from the very beginning of knowing that I would transition to the space, known that I needed to replace that mural with something else that feels like home. This video is the documenting of the creation of the murals in the new space. That's right, murals with an S, that's plural. Anyways, you don't want to just watch me sit here and talk, you want to see murals be made. So, let's watch them be made. So let's start off with the main event, the big new mural, which is to replace the long loved character mural from the old studio. Before getting into what I wanted with the new mural, it's worth first covering what I knew should be different from the old mural. Firstly, the characters had to go. The old mural featured many characters, some owned by me, but more of them not owned by me, which as you can imagine, especially since the channel has grown quite large, it isn't ideal from, uh, you know, legal perspective. <laughs> I considered keeping characters in some form throughout the new mural, but at the end of the day, I also felt that just characters could be at some times distracting. And if they were all to be original characters, then it would also just be confusing to people who are new to the channel. Aside from that, I also knew I didn't want to be too symmetrical, or at least I didn't want to have a central focal point to the degree that I did on the, uh, the old mural with the play button. I spent way too much time lining up that red play button to be behind me or to be symmetrical. Moving on to what I did want in the new mural. I knew I wanted lots of bright, fun colours. In fact, this is the very first scribble of what I pictured the feel of the new mural could be. Keep in mind this was scribbled on my phone in a short amount of time and with no refinement, but you can clearly see the tone I was starting to explore. Rather than convey something literal like characters or symbols, I wanted to convey a feeling. I wanted the new mural to be an abstract visual representation of how creativity feels to me explosive, colourful, fun, somewhat chaotic and overall just uplifting. I also knew I wanted a golden yellow and sunbeams to be a central theme, both because the gold colour is my favourite colour, and then the sunbeams also refer to where I came from, as they were originally inspired by the visual assets on Newgrounds.com, and they were also present in the old mule, so I felt it might carry over a sense of familiarity. As I explored the concept, I liked the idea of making giant art supplies as a prop that would stand in front of the mural that I could bring in or take out as I please. I'm still going to do this, but that's another video for another day. I visualized further by adding in a scribble of my future desk and tech setup and I knew I was headed in the right direction. But something else occurred to me. There are two big garage doors in the room that I was going to be using that I was going to hide behind shelves and curtains. I realized I could use this as a pretty cool usable space, so I threw in the idea of a whole separate set off to the side to make even more use of the space, and I knew I had struck gold. But we'll get to that later. Back to the mural concept. I didn't know how to refine the idea past the sunbeam aspect at first. I tried adding shapes, a pixelated effect, I tried adding paint splats of one kind or another. I tried all sorts of patterns, textures, effects, tweaks, but nothing was working until I overlaid a graffiti pattern onto the golden base and felt like there was something there. Then I broke away from my approach and really hit something I loved. I created a representation of loose leaf paper as a backdrop on the wall itself, which in this concept you can see is torn through around the edges of the page and peeks through to a colourful chaos behind. A graffiti style mash of colours waiting to burst out with a golden yellow base and when I had this concept I felt really certain of the direction I wanted to take the mural in. But with that said, I also knew I was gonna need some serious help. <laughs> Enter Dean Sunderland. 
talented Melbourne-based artist, I was recommended when I asked Frank from Union Heights, a street art supply shop in Melbourne, who could help me bring this mural to life. After checking out Dean's Instagram account and seeing his huge palette of styles and incredible talent, I knew this was the man. There were some pieces in his feed that had a really clean and colourful aesthetic that I knew I'd want to work with to pull this off. So I reached out to Dean and thank goodness he was on board. By the way, while we're looking at this, just take a moment to go follow this man on Instagram, please, for the love of God. You will see how incredibly hard he worked for me and this community in just a moment, but just look at his art. The man is a master and he deserves to be blown away by your support. So I'll, I'll link it in the uh, description, but it's at Dean Sunderland Art on Instagram. Please go send this man some love. Anyway, back to the mural. This was the concept I sent to Dean as a base to work from. A sketch of the loose leaf paper design on the wall with a 3D style of lineless graffiti clean imagery that I grabbed off Google Images and tweaked a bit. I was absolutely in love with my concept piece. So now it was time to work with Dean to create something original and unique together. With our final concept piece complete after days of work, we finally got together to tackle the beast. I'm a bit of a sentimental, sappy guy, and I wanted this mural to feel like home in every way possible. So I actually used the exact same sunbeam colors for the new mural that were in the old mural, and I even painted them with the same brushes that I used to paint my old mural with, bringing a piece of our old home with us to the new space. We worked together for a full day just on the backdrop of the paper and the sunbeams, which were hand painted so the air soul art would stand out on top of a really clean flat base. The next day was the main event and one that I had to let the reins go for. The benefit of aerosol painting of course is that it covers large areas quickly and has great opaque covering and beautiful vivid colours but they're difficult to work with and only a master's hands would do for this. So Dean took over from here to bring the new design to life. Ah, 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 not so fast. I'll show you the finished piece a bit later in the video, but first we have two other little epic pieces to cover. Now, remember the set I decided to put in that side space? Well, back when I was conceptualizing the main mural, I was struck with inspiration for the extra set space as well. Now, to explain where this idea comes from, I have to rewind a little bit. You see, as a YouTuber, particularly as an artistic one, I get a lot of fan art, and as a sentimental guy, I just can't throw it out. I know what it's like to be a young kid sitting at the kitchen table and pouring your passion into an artwork. Whenever I get handed or mailed fan art, I treasure it because I know it's those moments of passion and creativity being gifted to me and I know how beautiful they are and how much it means. But this means that over the years I've built up a lot of fan art. And a few years back, I tried to display some of it on something I was calling the love board, which I attempted to cycle with people's art changing over time, but pinning the art was difficult without damaging pieces underneath. And there was just too much love for the love board. So the love board was put aside for a while. In the meantime, the fan art love just kept building. I decided to bring it back and do it again, but much 
bigger. I screw with a concept of a set being made to look like a fake study or bedroom with some shelves and a desk where the back wall is absolutely plastered top to bottom with fan art. No longer pinned to a corkboard, but glued permanently and in theory a set backdrop where you, the community, would see yourself, both in the wall covered with your own passion and creativity, but also in the furnishings that would represent the safe spaces and creative corners that you guys create your own artworks in. So I carefully designed the set and some modular shelves that would go on either side of it and built it all to the best of my ability, complete with loads of caster wheels and brakes so I could move the set and shelves around in case I needed to ever reconfigure the space or use the big garage doors that they would stand in front of. And finally, after all these years, I gave your art a new home. Last but not least, we have the Wall of Honor. There will doubtless be people watching this who have no idea what I'm talking about, so let me briefly explain. Two years ago, I reached out for help from this community to transform my garden shed into a usable studio space to bring you guys more epic content. The fundraiser totally blew away our expectations and the rewards for the crowdfunding included original art, loads of art prints, one-on-one -on -one calls with people in the community, and among these rewards was something called the Wall of Honor. The plan was that in the renovated studio, backers with the Wall of Honor perk would have a place of glory with a name on it, but it took two years to deliver all of the other rewards, and by the time I was ready to deliver the final reward, I couldn't because I knew we were going to be moving. And yet, this was a blessing in disguise because it was the one reward attached to the space itself. Had I fulfilled the Wall of Honor perk earlier, it would have been short-lived, since this move would have happened regardless. But now, as I move to a big new space, it is with great honour and on a much, much more honourable wall that I commemorate and thank the people who two years ago contributed to making that studio possible. I believed at the time of the fundraising that the renovated Studio 2, as we dubbed it, was the next step for the channel, and it truly was. But what I didn't anticipate was how fast the channel would grow and even outgrow the space. So not only was it the next step, but it was the next step that led to this step. Because without the caliber of content and the production flexibility that we've had access to in the last two years with that Studio 2, this next phase would never have been possible. And finally, it is with great pleasure and a little bit of nervousness that I am so excited to introduce you to our new home here on Draw With Jazza. Welcome home. So here it is, the new home of Draw With Jazza, and I've pulled it off almost entirely in secret until now when I'm revealing it to you. And 
I think a lot of you might wonder why I've done that or maybe have hoped to have some input or have seen the transition over a longer period of time. But the, the motivation was a little bit selfish and I'm gonna explain a little bit as to why. When I painted the first mural on Draw with Jazza, that was a selfish motivation. I filled it with my favorite things, with my favorite characters in my space on my channel to share a, a bit about me with you and to create my home on the channel for you to, to come into. But when I did that, I didn't have any pressure. I mean, there was some, obviously, just the general thing of I don't want to stuff up or make something crap, but I didn't really feel like outside pressure on what I should make for anyone else. And this time around, I knew it was going to be different because with millions of people going to see what I was going to make and it going to be the home of a much larger channel moving forward, I knew that if I was to invite other people into the process, I would crumble because it's something I'm really sentimental about and I knew it needed to be a real part of me and to really communicate where I felt I am and the channel is. So I closed myself off from any outside input and didn't tell you guys anything that I was planning and this will be the first you'll have seen of any of these artworks or spaces. And while at the end of the day I sincerely hope you love the result as much as I do, I am so excited that I love it so much, that it feels so much like home now, that the mural, this burst of creativity, this abstract, exciting explosion through the paper of the adventure of art and creativity that we're gonna be having every day on this channel moving forward feels so right and it's just so fun and vibrant and updated and modern and exactly what it needs to be for this space. That this community set with your art and your creativity that I've received over years of meeting you and hearing your stories and being inspired by you is now a part of my home and a place where you can feel at home in this space. By the way, I will put the PO box address in the description. I will also regret this because I know I'm gonna get a lot more fan art than I can handle to put on that wall, but that's what it's for. So if you create some fan art, send it over. Just don't get offended if it doesn't get on there for a long time or if it takes a long time for me to open the fan art or rotate it or whatever. But the point is it's there, that's its intention, and I will make Make a, a strong effort to at least two or three times a year create a bit of a rotating canvas you, for you guys to be a part of. And then last but not least, the wall of honor, which is just this massive thank you that I get to see for you guys every day who have made this possible. Not just this space, but this channel and, and my personal dream. You have made my dreams come true and I can't tell you how thankful I am for that. And if there was a running theme between all three of these spaces, these images or artworks or collages or whatever you call them, it's that this is so much bigger than me and I can't do this by myself. It's because of you that I can do this. I couldn't have done that by myself. I couldn't have done that by myself. And as the Wall of Honor proves, I couldn't have done any of this by myself. And it is with the most sincerity that I can muster that I thank you so much for being a part of this community and making this possible. Speaking of making this possible, I mentioned I couldn't have done that mural by myself and I mentioned Dean Sunderland before. Please go follow that man on Instagram and slap him in the face with your affection. This is the man, the myth, the legend, Dean Sunderland Art is his tag on Instagram. He has embedded himself in the permanent legacy of this channel with his talent and contribution and I can't thank him enough. And like I said, it wouldn't be possible without him and his creativity contributing to this channel. We are all in this together now, be it collaborators or community members. I am so excited that this space now feels like a home that we can all have an adventure with moving forward. And I wanna thank you for making it possible. So moving forward three times a week, art and creativity content is gonna be coming right at you from this new space. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of more fun and creativity three times a week moving forward. There are more videos over there you can click on and the subscribe and blah, 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 and all that stuff you can see. But at the end of the day, the, the main point of this video is to say, I love you, thank you, and the future is gonna be awesome. I'll see you later.